Well, welcome, boys and girls, to the Hermitage. I invite you to follow in the footsteps of the notable visitors of the past, including Wordsworth, Mendelssohn, and Turner, as you wander around this magnificently designed landscape with its dramatic features. Look up, look up, all around you! Surround you, watching and waiting, are the giant Douglas fir trees, which are among the tallest in Britain. Come face to face with the thunderous Black Lynn Falls, best viewed from the Ossian Hall. As you wander around and the smell goes up the nostrils, breathe in the earthly woodland and the tang of pine needles as you wander along the banks of the River Bran. Do be sure to look out, won't you, for the totem pole hidden in the woods and the red squirrels darting around in the treetops. There's so much nature and so much wildlife. You better have a sharp eye or you'll be sure to miss it. See salmon leaping up the falls in the autumn as they head to spawning grounds further along the river. Did you know that this stretch of magical Perthshire was originally designed as a pleasure ground in the 18th century for the Dukes of Athol. So that's enough from here from the lake and the falls just now. How about we go into the studio and I show you how I put together the elephants in the myths painting. Many people have asked over the years how it ended up looking like it did. Well, Here's the picture as it looks now once it's all completed. Let me show you the stages that we took to get there. Oh, I'm feeling very Scottish today. So I picked up my camera and I thought I'd like to show you all about these Douglas fir trees. Just to show you just how big they actually are. And what it's like just being lost in the forest and just having an amazing time. As you can see here the light just peering through 
into the, the camera and into the viewfinder. These giant trees surrounding and protecting from all the elements. At one point it's said that, that some of the biggest trees are well over 200 feet. Let's take a look. Let's see what we can see. Sounds like waterfalls to me. I think the falls might be a little bit further on. Let's talk about some nice little things here. I love that, with the water glistening. Uh huh. Okay. And it stands at 64.6 meters tall. Wow. Which is 212 feet. That's a big tree. That's incredible. I assume it's this one right here. Nesting at the bottom of the garden and with its roots from the river Broom or Bran, this graceful tree started life around 1887 as a self sown seedling from the first Douglas fir planted in the heritage as a timber crop some 27 years ago. Well. Here we are guys in the beautiful Hermitage waterfall just behind me. I personally believe that this is one of the most beautiful locations I've ever had the privilege of shooting from. And I've had the privilege of shooting from some of the most beautiful in the world. But this to me is just so beautiful and so peaceful and tranquil that I think that maybe we need to, to do this one as a painting and, uh, and to create something really, really special. Just, just the sound of it is almost because now I'm going to move out of frame and let you guys enjoy this for a few minutes with a brand new song. I am the son of the king Walking the path of my life I'm holding on to you There's none like you I have a heart made of love Strengthened by you from above, I'm holding on to you. There's none like you. And as you walk through that valley of the darkest side, no. That you're never alone For he promised that he'd be there Through the wind and rain In the storm He's my shelter from the pain 
stone He's my shelter from the So much pain when the red seas again. But how can it be we're still fighting each other? What will it take for our people to learn if our sons and sons and lords we shall be wherever? And as you walk through that valley. Well, folks, I think that one's going to wrap up this little one right here. I hope you've really enjoyed this episode of The Artist Heart. I want to give you a little bit of encouragement now. Everybody's got an amazingly special gift. Some it may be speaking, some it may be writing, some it may be playing music. For me, it's painting and talking. Whatever your special gift is, use it. Use it with all of your might and all that you can, and you'll be amazed at what journeys and what paths will open up for you. I have been your host, John Morris, and until next time, take care, God bless, and thank you for watching The Artist Heart. Take care. <laughs>